Hello everyone, Kanaz here with Action VFX. In this quick tip video, I'm going to talk a bit about one of my new favorite feature in Adobe After Effects 2022 called Composition Profiler. This really helps me on organizing my workspace and I'm sure it will help you too. This feature can be accessed by clicking the snail icon on the left bottom of your screen or right clicking on our timeline column and select Render Time. And then After Effects will showcase the render times of each layer of your comp on the frame that you are in. You can see the combined total render time at the bottom left here, which is always there without even the need to enabling the render time column. All of these render times are in milliseconds or seconds, with 1000 milliseconds equal to 1 second. And as you probably already noticed, the render time is color coded. With the greener the bar, the faster it renders, and the redder it is, the slower. And then you can expand each layers to see how each effects or masks that you applied to that layer have contributed to the layer's render time. For pre-composition layers, it will only show the total render time of that pre-comp. So if you want to see how each individual layers of that pre-comp affect the render time, you have to go inside it. And remember, these bars calculate the time it takes to render just the one frame that your timeline is in. So if you move to another frame on the timeline, the render time will change because you may have animated certain effects or maybe certain parts of that frame or layers may have already been cached. You can cache your scene with of course hitting the play button or with another feature called speculative preview which you can turn on and off right here on windows, preview, and cache frame while idle. And after effects, like the name suggests, would automatically cache your entire scene while your computer is not in use. So you can leave your After Effects open while you're getting a coffee and it's gonna be caching while you come back. On your render time, you will see some of the layers have the asterisks on their render time numbers. This means these layers have some parts of them already cached. And layers that do not have asterisks means that they are not cached at all. Your render time is also calculating using your current preview quality. So changing it will also change the render time. This composition profiler would make it easier for you to spot which of your layers or effects slow down your composition. And that way you can try and make adjustments such as maybe removing certain effects or change it a different way or maybe pre-render it to make your project run faster. And now you know how to optimize your projects. That means you can start compositing scenes with lots of elements on it with no problem. So you don't want to miss out on our Action VFX Black Friday sale. The sale will begin on November 25th and ends on December 3rd. Use this opportunity to stock up your VFX elements and advance your VFX compositing game. You can read more about this on the link in the description below. However, if you want to purchase our assets right now, you can just go to our website at actionvfx.com. At Action VFX, we provide high quality VFX assets for your VFX needs. We have fire, explosions, energy, and many, many others. You can also sign up for our Action VFX subscription starting at the low cost of $14.99 a month. This is the most affordable way to access our library and you can cancel anytime, no contract. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comment section below what kind of tutorials that you'd like to see next. And see you next time. Bye-bye.